Live from Fox 8, bringing you the best high school football coverage in Northeast Ohio. Driven by Conrad, it's Friday Night Touchdown. Good Saturday morning. I'm PJ Ziegler along with John Sable. Week 5 of Friday Night Touchdown featured some great games with big playoff points on the line. And we begin with the Fox 8 Game of the Week, a Great Lakes Conference grunge match between Buckeye and Valley Forge. Welcome to Buckeye. We're the Bucks Battle Valley Forge in the Friday Night Touchdown Game of the Week. Valley Forge and Buckeye are both 3-1, and one, so this game could decide the Great Lakes Conference East Division. First play, Casey Murray going deep to Zach Honorati, and the Buckeye is on the board. Forge takes over, but it's a fumble. Travis Avaloni recovers for the Bucks. Buckeye was back in business, or so they thought. Bucks back to pass. Patriots pressure forces Murray out of the pocket, and guess what? It's another fumble. This isn't good. Everyone looking for what Daniel Schuttler found. And then Valley Forge found the end zone. It's Dylan Scronenberger from two yards. And guess what? Just like that, we're tied at seven. However, on the ensuing kickoff, Zach Anorati makes another big play, splits two Forge defenders, finds a seat, and he could go all the no. Stopped at the three. Wow. So Troy McCann powers in, and that was the difference. Buckeye holds off Valley Forge 29 to 23. PJ. It is strictly business for the Avon Lake Shoremen. They are trying to get revenge on Berea Mid Park after the Titans beat them last year. Berea Mid Park was special last night. It's in special teams. No border patrol for Avon Lake. D'Angelo Borders blocks Ian Walsh's kick. It would set up Borders for the three-yard touchdown and a 7-0 Berea Mid Park lead. Tied at seven when Jeremy Dizick hits Keegan Ruddick on the 16-yard touchdown pass, but it's not enough to take down the Shoreman. Avon Lake avenges last year's loss, 35-21. to 21. John. Week 5 finds us here at Chicago Heights High School. 4-0 taking on 1-3 Trinity. A special guest with me, Cuyahoga Heights head coach Al Martin. Al, I understand that uh, you are good friends and have known the commissioner, Dan Coghlan, a very long time, over 20 years. And you know, today is his birthday. You got a message for him? Yeah, it's, it's Friday night, so we think about football and Danny. Those are the only two things we think about. My wife, Kathy, and I wish you nothing but the best, Danny. Happy birthday. And happy birthday to Danny. Good combo there, football and Dan Coghlan. All right, Al Martin's Cuyahoga Heights. Red Wolves hungry for the win. And what was on the menu in the first quarter? How about a pick? That Seth Casilla reads Aiden Duncan's path perfectly. Good for a 19-yard interception return to the Trojans. Seven, two plays later. Heights punches in for a four-yard touchdown. That's Andy Jakovich. Seven-yard Red Wolves, or seven-nothing Red Wolves with eight minutes left in the first. Heights would then add 10 more points to shut out Trinity 17-0. in the Cuyahoga Heights Red Wolves improved to 5-0. and oh, PJ. Here is Friday Night Touchdown's number one fan, and we say hello to you. And this game is all about the defense. Iggy's Max Polinski races in for a big sack. Cats take over. Hoban's Eli Lee gives the back the rock bottom. Knights back on offense, and speaking of backs, Lamar Sperling is one of the best around. He turns the corner, outruns the entire Ignatius defense, 83 yards, and Hoban scores first. Now after a Cats punt, Sperling is Sterling again, breaking tackles for another ground score, and Hoban hands Iggy its first loss, 28-7. Now John is the first sky scores of Week 5. All right, PJ, top-ranked St. Ed's on the road at Maslin. Opening kickoff, watch Ed's Kyan Mason running like he was shot out of a cannon, and if you're getting Chased by Tigers, it's nice to fly like an eagle. He goes 99 yards for a sky score. Seven up and ends, and the Eagles are just getting started. Maslin's third play, and it's a fumble, and Robert King recovers for Eds, and they don't waste any time. Marvin Bell on the ground for another sky score. Make that 14 zip, but Maslin found its footing, and it's throwing. Jalen Slaughter hits. Ardell banks on the slant and he does the rest. 70 yards for a sky score. And the Tigers roar back to Hand State Ed's. His first loss, 31 to 28. Peach. Jackson at rival Perry. Polar Bears on offense. And this is a college quality throw by Joseph Latarulo to Kyle Benson. And it would set up Jason Divide wearing Nick Chubb's number 24 and running like Chubb for a sky score. Seven nothing Polar Bears then. After a parry punt, Jackson looking for more, but Christian Robbins steals a quick six with this 38-yard pick six. That's good for a... Sky score. This game went to overtime, and Jackson won a thriller. 32-31. Both teams are three and two. 
You've seen the highlights. Now it's time for our Toyota top plays of week five. All right, let's go with the offensive player of the week first. Happened on the opening kickoff. Watch St. Ed Speetzer, Guy and Mason, only a sophomore, races 99 yards in the blink of the eye. That's some serious speed, PJ. But maybe we just sped it up just a little bit. Impressive run there for that young man. All right, the defensive play of the week is also the special teams play of the week. Bedford senior Caleb Hunter did it all on this play. First, he blocked the Shaker field goal attempt. Then he scooped up the ball and hit the Jets, racing 86 yards for a Bearcats touchdown. And we saw some impressive performances Friday night, but Cleveland Heights quarterback Darian Fair ran wild. He scored three touchdowns in the first quarter, helping the Tigers run by Lorraine and start the season 5-0. and And that's why Darian Fair is the Friday night touchdown H-Shacks plumbing and heating player of the week. A big night for that young man and many others. And that's all the time we have for week five of Friday night touchdown. We'll be back next Friday at 11 o'clock. John and I will have highlights from the Browns home opener on Sunday. Until then, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.